I still lose sleep over this fact. And I want you to lose sleep too. <laughs> I don't want to be the only one staring I, I, at the ceiling at night. I've got so here it is. You may remember, or you may have heard, that Einstein's relativity, where the faster you move, right. the slower time, time ticks for you right. as others view it. Relative okay? to the observer. Relative to the observer, correct. You don't know anything's happening. Right. Your clock still ticks as far, you've still got your, your heartbeat, all of this. Okay, so this is not a physiological thing. It is an actual property of the fabric of space and time under those conditions. Wow. I didn't even get to the part where I lose sleep. Okay. <laughs> so if photons had a clock, the clock would never tick, which means when I go to a mountaintop, as I did in graduate school, to observe the center of the Milky Way galaxy for stars that emitted their light 30,000 years ago, traveling through the gaps of interstellar space, and they move through space, come through Earth's atmosphere, they come down into the telescope, they reflect, go back to my detector, and land on my CCD chip. That photon, when it was born, at the star that emitted it, was detected at my telescope in the same instant. Wow. 